Hi guys, uh, good afternoon. It's gone half 12 here at UK. Relatively slow start to the day. I mean, the, the Dow is, is basically flat. It's down 18 points. Um, not too much has happened. We have drifted to the lows a couple of times. Uh, we have got a double top. It's not a big range. Um, just with the pivot there, I'd, I'd be aware as well to the upside as, as a key level. For me, that's now gonna to, got to be a zone. The the low of the week is the low of the day. Something's got to give. Something's got to give, and no harm in, in, in probably waiting for that to happen. So long above, short below is, is how I'd be playing that. Obviously to the upside, just being aware of a nice resistance area here before we could then get to the R1s. Below the low of the week, then you're really looking at this double bottom area uh, coming in around 25. Uh, thousand four nineteen. It's going to be similar for the S and P. The higher the day is, uh, yeah, a double top on the pivot. So just be careful of that. Along with thirty one fifty seven uh, to the upside, the double bottom low. Basically, you can see. I'd just be careful of shorting the lows. Um, well, you would be looking to take profit around the S one area, wouldn't you? Is how I'd be going about it. Could argue we're getting squeezed. Doesn't necessarily look amazing, but you can start to. Just get a feel that something's got to give. It might be that we, we stay contained in here for a while before the push either way. Um, we'll, we'll obviously find out, won't we? But relatively quiet day. The, the NASDAQ is up. I mean, that's not a surprise to anyone. Um, I, I guess you'd probably be comfortable in the others following suit um, if, if we can get back above 10,597. Bit of support before we broke lower last night. So it could be looking for something like that just for, for the breakthrough, de-risking around the R1. If we do hold at those highs and push lower, you can see why we found support on the, on the low of yesterday, low of today, high that we had on the SIP on the Monday. Really nicely respected. The pound, which had a good day yesterday uh, until the close, has, has just sort of drift, drifted down. Um, you'd, you'd probably say the fact that we false broke on these lows is, is pretty important. Um, and and I'd, I'd actually be quite bullish looking into the back half of the day, especially if we can get above this potential trend line. However, that is obviously a resistance point along with those highs of the day, and it could well mean that we just find a bit of support. So the next long, in my opinion, is above 125.67. Uh, but if that holds, then I wouldn't be too surprised to see us drift a bit lower down. The euro didn't really like the the dollar weakness of yesterday trend line from the top would i have it probably not doesn't look amazing but you can see that uh really nice high here i'd, uh, I'd have that on uh potentially waiting for a long above that let's just have a look see if we can get some sort of trend line from these these levels i'm trying to find something that's not there i quite like the long lower down i have to say um if we can come back into this area here, you can see we exploded really early hours on Monday. If we can come back into the, to this area, I like the idea of a, a long here. Uh, obviously see what you want to see before getting in is how I would, would go with that. But not much going on. Quiet day, quiet day, quiet calendar. Um, we're waiting, we're waiting, aren't we? I mean, look at Euro over the last few days, not really too much has, has gone on. Um, just having a look at that. The early mark, oh, there we go. You sometimes do find things, don't you? Look at that trend line on the low. It's got to have it. Got to have it. And now that makes that S1 long just slightly bit more risky. You definitely would want to see some good price action before getting in there. But lovely. I'm going to definitely going to have that on. Uh, gold had been pushing higher, and that's continuing. That's one market that uh, has actually got a nice little trend. Uh, and as long as we're above 1800 and seven, I'd be pretty comfortable uh, staying in those longs. I think the bears we need to see, or they need to see below the pivot for anything to really materialise. Hope you all have a, a great day, uh, and I'll catch you all later on.